Our next lesson will cover everything you need to know about acute stroke. Stroke describes a condition in which normal blood flow to the brain is interrupted. Strokes can occur in two variations. In ischemic stroke, a clot lodges in one of the brain's blood vessels, blocking blood flow through the blood vessel. In hemorrhagic stroke, a blood vessel in the brain ruptures, spilling blood into the brain tissue. The treatments are very different. Symptoms of acute stroke include weakness in the arm and leg or face, vision problems, confusion, nausea or vomiting, trouble speaking, problems walking or moving, and a severe headache. Here's the EMS care of acute stroke. Remember, time is brain. Before giving any medication or food, you must perform a bedside swallow screening. The goal of the stroke team, emergency physician, or other experts should be to assess the patient with suspected stroke within 10 minutes of arrival in ED. The CT scan should be completed within 25 minutes of the patient's arrival in the ED and should be read within 45 minutes. Follow the appropriate steps and procedures for 10, 25, 60, and 180 minutes after the arrival of the stroke. The emergency department staff should follow these steps and instructions for both ischemic and hemorrhagic stroke. For ischemic stroke, confirm time of symptom onset, perform targeted neurological exam, and complete fibrinolytic checklist. In hemorrhagic stroke, consult neurosurgery and perform coagulation panel type and screen. Don't administer a fibrinolytic if these characteristics apply. However, if these characteristics apply and you believe the benefit outweighs the risk, administer a fibrinolytic. Lastly, administer a fibrinolytic if these characteristics apply. Here's the adult suspected stroke algorithm. Please take this time to study the algorithm in the handbook. That concludes the acute stroke lesson.